हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी आर कंसल्टेंट्स सो हियर यू गेट हर प्रॉब्लम का सॉल्यूशन सो विदाउट हेजिटेशन शेयर योर प्रॉब्लम एंड आई विल गेट बैक टू यू विद सूटेबल आंसर सो डियर फ्रेंड फर्स्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लाइक शेयर एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू पुट कमेंट्स बिकॉज इट इज अ फीडबैक फॉर मी to know areas of improvements so today topic is uh hardening in the field of metallurgy most of uh, new metallurgists they don't know uh, what is difference between case carburized and uh, through hardened so today i will tell you about what is difference between case carburized and through hardened so first i will tell you technical issues when you do hardening so there is a maybe 5 to 6 uh, you have to consider 5 to 6 points like when you do hardening you have to consider service life loading amount of deverage deverage alignment and uh, maintenance practices and commercial issues point wise if you think like there may be price and warranty so friends first we will discuss about case carburized uh components so they endure heavy shocks loads like you can take a example temken bearing company they have offered only case carburized bearing products because case carburized bearings or other components have a tough ductile core combined with a hard wear resistant outer surface the core enhances the ability to endure heavy shock loads without damage so it also important the ability to operate under alignment and wear dirt and debris are present so i hope you understood what is the importance and what is the meaning of case carburized bearing next is through hardened bearings through hardening components through hardened any gears so here you may be lot of offer uh, appropriate levels of performance like however there are many applications where through hardened bearing products adequately meet performance requirement through hardened bearings or gears components features a more uniform hardness throughout because they also remain more rigid under misalignment which can generate higher stress levels within the bearings so wear components whole components uh uh friction with other components they are uh, required through hardened uh hardening and wear only case structure your case uh body means gear most of them uh, case carburizing i think case hardening do on gears because they mostly gears uh friction with others gear so most of them gears they required case hardening and sometime maybe some part they required whole part through part uh, hardening so they required through hardened so they fix a temperature at fixed temperature uh, how much uh, hardness they required they set in uh, that heat treatment process the heat treatment uh, machine and they will achieve if they achieve they want they will send sample to lab and check there if whatever required they get it hardness case depth and where uh, and what is inside hardness core to surface then they will know okay now material is okay if not then again they will change the cycle time how much time they have to do hardening so dear friends i think i hope you enjoy my video so and don't forget to subscribe like share my channel cr consultants thank you very much for watching this video goodbye and have a good time